Hello, everyone, and welcome to Spooktober. Lightning crashes. <laughs> My name, as always, is Bloodstained Wings, and today I thought we would start off October with a spooky, spooky painting, and it's also going to be our palette knife challenge of the month. This is my spider sheep and I decided to do the entire background with a palette knife and uh, it's very spooky as you can see and uh, if you guys are ready to get into it we will and for the rest of this month there will be themed spooky paintings and I can't wait to get into it all right it is time for our monthly palette knife painting challenge but it is also Spooktember, and so we are going to be doing a spooky, spooky spider. This is actually a sheep spider that is one of the drawings that I did as my creature mashup during my Twitch stream. Um, Twitch.tv slash Wings. should you like to join. Uh, at any point in time, you can join. Uh, you may notice that my tape is a little bit different today. Um, yes. Yes, it is. Moving on. <laughs> I kind of ran out of big tape, so I had to use a little tape. I'll buy more big tape as soon as I can. All right. So, as usual, I didn't grab enough goop, but uh, we're going to cover the whole canvas in our goop. And I have done a gesso painting underneath this sticker. The sticker is just to kind of make sure that that inside doesn't get completely lost in the palette knife but these spiddly legs are too spiddly to actually cut out they just are it would just be a pain in the ass anyways and they would move about and i just know that so i didn't bother um and we're just gonna have to probably paint those back in later which is probably fine but we're gonna do the majority of this painting as a palette knife painting challenge and i've been seeing a lot of art on the pinterest of palette knife backgrounds because I get inspired. This is a thing that happens. Um, and I thought it would be really nice to do like a spooky giant, um, like essentially tentacle monster, but it's a spider monster um, in the sky that is like stomping over the ground and everything else out here is like um, foggy and like stormy. And that's kind of what the color palette we're going with today is. Um, and talking about the palette, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Talking about the um, colors that we're going to be using today, um, I have Prussian Blue, Quinacrium Violet, and Black. Now, I just thought the Quinacrium Violet would add like a little bit of a purpley edge to the Prussian Blue, but the Prussian Blue is very, very dark. Like, it's just very dark. So as long as you're going in with that as your acknowledgement that that's a very dark color, you're probably going to be fine. So... I'm just kind of half and halfing it, which is just going to give the Prussian blue like a slight purple tinge. It's really not going to do that much. Um, and then I'm going to add black to gray it out. And I think I added too much black. So we'll just go ahead and add all of the quinacrium violet that I have to kind of purpley it back up and then a little bit more of the blue. There we go. Now we're going to keep with the very basic palette today. Um, in that it's mostly going to be this color. I'm going to lay out my plan first um, and then after I lay out my plan I can come back in and do the palette knife stuff with it. Um, that's that's how my brain pan is working. So going into the yeah I'm going to start with I'm going to just start with the dark. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to go right into it. So we want to have like black basically. Like I said, it's a purpley bluish black, but we're gonna have that down here in like a landscape style. That's my cat trying to get into our liquor cabinet. He likes to hide in the liquor cabinet. I don't know why. Anyways, <laughs> moving on with our lives. Um, I'm gonna try to be very delicate here because there's not a lot of borders that I have to protect my table, but I mean, my table's covered in paint anyways, as you can see. So I'm not sure why I care overly, but I'm gonna try to care a little bit. Okay, so we've got kind of a dark going on over here, and then I also want a dark going on in like a, this corner, 
and then like a, this whole area here. And we're gonna come back in and lay that in with the palette knife, but that's the basic idea right there. And then I'm gonna hang on them. Okay, I'm back. Um, so, uh, grabbing a different brush, I'm gonna grab a little bit of white, and it is going to mix with everything, but that's okay. We're gonna start with the white in here, and I'm gonna thin it down so that I can still see my spider legs, but what I wanna do is kinda mush it around and make like a gray kinda color, yes. kind of gray up this area and like mist it about. Hang on, let me just, let me just clean this off a bit. There's lots of hanging on apparently in this stream today. Stream? Video. Okay. Going back into this spot here. There we go. Just gonna kind of grab it and mush it about in this area to kind of lighten it back up. Just cleaning the excess off my brush and then kind of going back into this area, mooshing some things about because I want there to be some like mooshy mooshies. I'm just going to grab a little bit more of the white to kind of dance through this area. I mean, I don't know why I care. I'm gonna go over this with a palette knife, but it's to kind of give me an idea of where I want things to be, which is kind of the idea. So let's go ahead and grab our palette knife. Um, and should we, let's start in the sky? Yeah, let's start in the sky. So we got that beautiful dark color and I've got a hair that is on my, hang on everyone, I'm sorry. <laughs> Please. Thank you. Okay. Now, getting our paint into that nice little roll of paint on the end there, and we're gonna just go ahead and put in some color in this guy. Obviously, there's already some stuff in there, so really we're just adding some like texture and some things going on, and that's what we want. We wanna add like a little bit of things going on. I'm gonna grab a twinge of white to just, yeah, play in this area and like kind of go back and forth. Cause it's better when you have like a variation in the colors that you're using for your palette knife. I don't know, the, um, but especially with the blacks because you can't really see the blacks. So. Go in and add some texture. And fill in the corners that got missed. They got missed! Let's see how that just like brightens up a little bit and then you can come back in with a little bit more of the mixture and then darken it back up again. And you can just kind of play with that, but don't mix it around too much because then you'll become a, a mud mixer. You don't want to be a mud mixer. So I'm just trying to give like a general cloud kind of circly shapes. All right, so, um, how are you? What's going on? It's new in your life. Happy October. I am super excited for the fact that it's October. I love October. Do you think that October is one of those like really nice months of the year where like nice things happen? <laughs> that makes sense. You're welcome. I'm gonna do this kind of area here. So it looks kind of mountainous, sort of, not really. I don't know why I said mountainous. It's not gonna look mountainous at all, but there. 
A little bit of blue in that one this time. That's okay. You get the idea that there are things happening. Maybe this is an ocean. Maybe this is an ocean. You know what? I think I've decided that this is an ocean. That's gonna make this super fun. I'm gonna get it to be a little bit darker, but still keep it kind of variegated there. Yes. And then we'll come back in and highlight that with some white. Loving this, loving this. Get a little bit darker. Or the same color, that works too. No, it is darker, okay. <laughs> there we go. And then go to the full dark through here to give a little I'm just playing with shapes at this point and having fun because I'm using a palette knife. Um, I get very carried away very quickly while using a palette knife. I hope you guys do too. If you are painting along and doing a palette knife challenge painting, please, if you ever do one of these palette knife paintings, please share. I would love to see um, how you guys do and like how it works out for you and all that kind of stuff. And all that jazz. Oh, yes. Did you see that? That was good. Just mixing colors. And now it looks ocean ocean esque. And why is there a giant spider on an ocean? Who knows? That, maybe there's land back there that it's on top of that we can't really see. You know, you don't know that. It's all like foggy and misty and that's the idea is that it's foggy and misty. I'm gonna kind of come back with a, with a smaller brush here and just kind of mush this around a bit. Because I have a feeling I'm not gonna get to this as much as I want it to. But I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how much I get to what. Um, but now we need to get to the sky, back to the sky. Let's get more of the white, but it's got a little bit of the gray in it. So that'll be fun. And we'll just kind of flop that in over here. Oh, jeez! Scare the shit out of me just to have me not be able to do anything. God dang it. Anyways, <laughs> let's do a sky, shall we? I think I'm gonna do something really wild and crazy over here. Now that I'm looking at it, I think what I'm gonna do is take my big brush these broken wings and what no um <laughs> take the palette knife no time to take about take the big brush take this big brush and I think I'm just gonna pull down just to make it look like it's raining and also to like kind of yeah make it look like it's raining I think it's just gonna give like an extra like See how it kind of like pulls everything down because that's what I'm doing, but also I like it. It makes it look like so much more dramatic.
Oh, I like that. I'm gonna keep pulling things down over here too, I think, just a little bit, to just keeping with that like, that like pulling down kind of feeling that this sky is having. I'm gonna come back and do this part over. This does not look good over here, but it will in a moment. It just needs a moment. Actually, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> Sometimes all it needs is a little bit of convincing. Yeah, because then that brings back the white that's underneath there. Oh, that's that's brilliant. Look at me, using both the knife and the palette, or the, and the brush, to make beautiful things happen. Who knew you could do both? I didn't know you could do both. Let's let's do both. Let's grab more white. All right, let's get back to the palette knife. Let's get back to what we do best, right? The palette knife. And let's just come back in here and really delicately add some like shape and some like highlights. Yes. to really emphasize that like cloud shape. And then I'm just gonna pull it down as well with the palette knife this time to still give it that like hold down effect. Yes, liking it. I'm going to come in and highlight a little bit in here. Bring back some of these highlights. Yes, yes. Things are looking good. All right, and then this like darker highlight. And then an even slightly darker highlight. And then I go back to the full black. This part, but it's got still a little bit on my brain. Yes. Because then that gives it that little extra. A little extra. Which is what we're looking for, just a little extra. Yes. I'm liking that so far. Okay, great. We've got like rainy, stormy energy going on over here, which I am just absolutely here for. Little highlights, little highlights in this darkened sea. Okay, I think we're ready to pull up our sticker here and then work on the actual shape of our spider monster. And there we go. So now it's nice and clean, which is nice. We like that that looks good, but we now need to add like definition and existence to it and all that kind of stuff. But we don't want too much because it's still part of like the scenery and it's very far away. So I'm going for like a, I'm trying to get to like this kind of color back there, but on my very, very thin brush with a lot of goop. All right, and we're gonna come back in here and kind of paint in the lens. Now, I guess this wasn't really all palette knife painting, so maybe we will do another painting that will be our palette knife of the month. We don't know. But I wanted to do spooky things. So spooky things I did.
gonna like focus real hardcore here for a moment as I try to paint straight lines. I am in fact not very good at painting straight lines, which is one of the reasons I actually like painting trees, is because they don't need me to paint straight lines. <laughs> trees are like, nah, you're good. And I'm like, oh, thank you, trees. Thank you. And they're like, hey, yeah, no problem. This spider sheep, by the way, does not have a name. We could, in fact, name this spider sheep if we would like to. Okay. As I stop breathing because I have to do something very, very, very particular. Uh, where does this go? This one goes this way. If you're about to say I missed a leg over there, I know. It's further away, so it gets to be a lighter color. We're doing all of the uh, ones in the foreground first. And then we'll do all the other ones. I don't know why I'm paying so much attention to this, but I'm probably going to fill most of that in. but. It's okay. Okay, now we can get into more of the like gray kind of color. Basically just add white. Just add white. I'm actually going to go back in here and lighten this one up so it looks further behind this one. There we go. And then we can do the further back. You know, these legs are very, very spiddly and small. It's uh, not exactly easy to paint. <laughs> why oh why uh, did I decide to do another creature mashup? And out of all of the creature mashups, why did I pick the uh, horrendous sheepy spider? I don't know. I, I, I can't answer that question. But um, <laughs> it's fine, right? It's fine. Um, okay, uh, I'm gonna come back with uh, more of that color, but a different brush. Um, and this is the backgroundy color. Actually, I'm just gonna mix the two of them. I'm gonna mix them. Legs. And we're just gonna kinda come back in here. And this is a sheep, so it's all poofy poofy anyways. Oh, and I don't want a lot of definition because this is like very far away. That was my idea, is that this is very far away. So, come back in here and very far away it. I do, however, want some definition, so hang on. See if we can just smoosh this about 
and maybe we can keep like where this leg is and some of the facial features maybe. But it's also floofy, so, I mean, really. Now it just looks like, um, you know, in Princess Mon- not Princess- Spirited Away! In Spirited Away, there's those, like, puffball guys. Just kind of looks like one of those guys. All right, I'm gonna come back in with a little bit of detail on the like front leg situation. Front leg. This paint is too blue though. I need to get it to being back to being a blacky gray kind of color. There we go. There we go. Details. I'm not a very detail-oriented painter, um, so this is kind of very challenging for me right now. So. You're welcome. <laughs> it's gonna make for one of my longer paintings because I'm trying to do things I don't normally do. Let's see if we can get that face back in there. Just like a little bit. Yes. It's kind of working. Sheep nose. Well, the brush was not pointed. There we go. We got the sheep ear back in. Right. And let's get the other one back in. There we go. Excellent. All right, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of some like foggy mist kind of stuff with this brush over here. And we're just gonna like mist out this whole area. Even though we did all of that lovely highlight area, I'm gonna try to not touch it. You don't touch me. Okay, I touched it a little bit. But I just need a little bit more mist in that area to kind of, I don't know, it just looked empty. So I needed a little bit extra. 
I'm gonna have a little bit more white on my brush. See if we can just there, mystify it a little bit so it's more misty. Like this area got all misty from the pull downs. From the pull downs, that's a thing. This, from the this that we did. There we go. See, now we have a misty spider sheep in a very dramatic palette knife background. Um, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that actually. I think that that looks satisfactorily creepy, which is all the things that I wanted it to be to start off our spook timber. I've got a whole bunch of ideas for uh, all of October. We're gonna have really, really creepy things. Um, and even some, uh, possibly some movie, maybe some video game inspired things. Maybe, you never really know. Uh, you'll just have to stop by and keep watching to find out. Uh, I will go get more tape at some point and <laughs> everything will be fine. <laughs> um, woo. All right. So there it is, my spider sheep. I am sorry, I'm having a little bit of existential crisis because I'm thinking it needs giant glowy yellow eyes. And I think I'm gonna do it. So give me a second while I get some yellow ochre. No, lemon yellow, yes. I'm just gonna go ahead and do some crazy giant yellow eyes. Why does this spider have a yellow eyes? They don't actually. They have very like black eyes. Sometimes they're like highlighted by a bunch of different colors. And sheep also don't have yellow eyes. Um, <laughs> listen, uh, I thought it was a good idea and I just, it looks like it needs it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It looks like it needs it, so I want to do it. And I think the yellow will really pop against everything else. So that's why I think I should pop in some yellow eyes that are super creepy. And hopefully it doesn't turn green. Hopefully it doesn't turn green. Hopefully we can just have like some real, like I can just goop on. Goop. I got like really, really big eyes. So there's one. <laughs> and there's another. And then the spiders have like another little eye over here. And then over here. There, creepy spider eyes. Yes, they're looking at you. <laughs> Hopefully they look like they're kind of glowing a little bit. Glowy weird spider eyes, you're welcome. And thank you for watching this video. Uh, sorry it's a little bit long, but I had a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys did too. Uh, happy Spooktober, and I will catch you guys next week. Uh, don't forget that, to thank all of the Patreons who are here and lovely and keeping this going. Thank you so much. Uh, links in the description for all of the things as usual. And don't forget that you are loved and you deserve to be loved. 
I'll catch you guys next week. Bye. Mwah.